Hello, this is Billy Skaggs, Certification Program Manager with Georgia Crop Improvement Association. First, I want to thank the Georgia Peanut Commission and the American Peanut Shellers Association for allowing me to participate in this year's seed seminar. And today I'm going to be presenting an update on seed quality and quantity for the 2021 planting season. We had a busy year in 2020 uh, inspecting and certifying peanut seed. Uh, certified acres increased 135,000 last year as compared to 112,000 acres in 2019. Really the only issues we typically have are inadequate isolation um, that might lead to rejected acres. Our standards require an isolation of four rows or a minimum of 10 feet between all classes of certified seed from other varieties. We completed field inspections in September. Uh, certified buying points were inspected in the fall along with other warehouse facilities where peanuts might be stored. And currently our staff are inspecting shelling and treating facilities. Last year, as I said, we had 135,000 acres of certified peanuts uh, that were inspected. Uh, as in years past, Georgia 06G was the dominant variety at 115,000 acres or approximately 85% market share of runner peanuts grown in Georgia. And I would say that number holds pretty well around the Southeast. In addition to Georgia 06G, other varieties that had considerable acres, uh, Georgia 09B, Georgia 16HO, Georgia 18RU, and TIF NV High Oleic. As for seed quality and quantity for this coming spring, uh, overall seed quantity should be sufficient for this year. Uh, typically more certified seed acres are planted by the companies than the quantity that's needed for planting and that allows them to only save the best lots for seed. In addition, certified seed peanuts are typically planted early in the season, which helps us to ensure the peanuts are harvested prior to any uh, cool, damp weather, which may occur in the fall. And talking with the uh, State Seed Lab in Tifton, um, they're seeing good quality, good results so far this year as the early samples are coming in. Haven't seen nearly as much aspergillus as compared to last year, which is great. We're very happy about that. Overall quality is good to very good uh, in most lots with germinations uh, averaging in the 80s and 90s. Overall, we believe seed quality is gonna be better this year as compared to 2020. Certainly we had better harvest conditions uh, in the fall of 2020 as opposed to 2019. And again, the industry plants many more certified acres than are needed and only the highest quality lots are safe for seed and then the remainder go to commercial use. Why should you choose certified seed? Well, number one, they're adapted varieties of known performance. Second, the certified seed is never more than two generations from foundation class seed, which is maintained by Georgia Seed Development here in Georgia. Fields are inspected for varietal purity and freedom from noxious weeds. All certified seed is conditioned in an approved, in an approved facility, uh, which is inspected regularly by our inspectors. All seed must be laboratory tested and must meet or exceed our minimum standards for germination and purity. In short, the seed is monitored from the field to storage, through the conditioning facility, to sampling and labeling to ensure growers receive the highest quality seed available. Again, thank you to the Georgia Peanut Commission and the American Peanut Shellers Association for the opportunity to present this brief update. Uh, if you need more information, you can contact me at Georgia Crop Improvement. Uh, you can go on our website, georgiacrop.com, uh, to view our peanut standards. You can also view the peanut buyer's guide there which includes a list of all the varieties that were produced and the companies that produced them. Thank you again for this opportunity, and we look forward to seeing everyone soon.